Metroid Fusion is the fourth mainline entry for the 2D series, along with it being the fourth Metroid game on the Game Boy Advance. And as I probably mentioned in my Zero Mission Unused Content video, and if you want to watch it, link it in the description. But this one was actually the first one I ended up finishing. This was only because I actually got it on my Wii U, which I'm pretty sure was because of Club Nintendo back in like 2015 or 16. And regardless, I was kind of interested in this game just because I've heard nice things about the series and I think this was the only Metro game that they were offering on the site for like either free or some price off I don't remember but you know they were giving this one so I just thought why not and now let's actually get into the topic of the video and one of the things I actually ended up loving was the boss fights. They're all pretty unique and they're all really fun to fight for me at least. Bosses like Cirrus, Yakuza, Nightmare, and the security robot along with the SAX were probably some of my favorites. The arenas I also do think help make the bosses a bit cooler since stuff like the security robot in its first fight, you have to dodge the attacks by climbing on the roof on the top half which honestly I found pretty cool. And while other bosses don't have arenas like this one, I still think their patterns make them pretty fun to fight and even then when they do have a pretty basic arena you still have to take in consideration the vertical or horizontal space and stuff like that I still love and while they're not too hard, points I mentioned at least again make them pretty enjoyable. I also really do love the sprite work in this game and even playing this one off the Wii U I think it makes it even look better. I feel Samus and the other aliens look super great and detailed and I feel the bosses are even better and while they are a lot bigger than you this definitely does help make them a lot more scary and just show the amount of detail that went into the sprites. I also found them to be pretty colorful considering the fact that the game is pretty depressing. I also do love the atmosphere in the game and I feel a lot of that just has to do with the different designs of the rooms along with the OST and those aspects I really do think is what makes the game really eerie and to me it always gives me the feeling of I gotta get out of this room quickly. And I also feel that since it's an abandoned spaceship with a bunch of variety of environments you don't really know what you're getting into for the most part. And I also do like how it's abandoned because that means there are no humans and it's basically almost all aliens and whatnot so you know it makes you wonder what kind of aliens are in this environment. I also did love the game's OST as I mentioned and it really makes me feel more involved in exploring the areas in the game. I also feel it helps make the boss fights a bit more intense because it really does ramp up at those parts. But the slightly more calming themes like the ones in the rest areas and the most scary ones when you're just exploring I just absolutely love. And tracks like environment detention, the themes for the SAX and the different sector themes I think are really great standouts as well. The gameplay is also super fun to me and even though it's on the Game Boy Advance I think it works for what it is and for what I play of Super Metroid it feels like they just took that game and just put it on the Game Boy Advance for the most part and using stuff like the L button to help aim up and down using the all button to use the missiles I found really nice and the platforming is really solid and the jumps feel very weighty and just again it feels very solid overall. And I still do think that Fusion is a really enjoyable 2D Metroid in a lot of aspects as I mentioned. And even going back to replay some of the game now, I can say a lot of what I ended up enjoying on my initial playthrough, I still end up loving now. But even then, I can still say that some parts of the game I didn't really like as much. And one of which is how the SAX is treated. I don't mind it as a villain mind you, I just didn't like how little it showed up. I was hoping there would have been a more consistent force because it only really shows up about 4 times, one of which Samus herself doesn't see it and only hears about it from Adam and the other 2 times you're basically hiding from it and running away from it, which those moments are tense I just wish you got to fight it more. And for the last time, you do end up fighting it but again that's like at the very end of the game and I felt if you did fight a lot more often it would have been a bit cooler because you could test your strength against it and you know just a process of just slowly getting better and better against fighting it. And all the times when you do see it is pretty scripted for the most part and if it either had more boss fights or say if it was a little bit more randomized like Nemesis in Resident Evil 3 I think it would have been a little bit cooler and I think that would have helped my issue because again I felt like it was one of the main villains of the game and having it be a more consistent force would have helped that. I also didn't really like how much damage just random enemies would deal to you and I found it that out of all the games I've played, this is definitely the worst one for it so far. It kind of feels unbalanced to me at points 
and you also do recover HP at such a low rate where I do believe you only get like 10 health units at a time at max and it kind of is frustrating to me and while I can kind of get the bosses dealing a lot of damage again this is mostly just towards the random aliens and whatnot and while they're not super hard to fight they can be annoying since they can be kind of small sometimes and you know when you're just walking around you get randomly hit you just get a bunch of damage for like no reason and that kind of sucks because you know a lot of them do kind of just you know fly around and they don't really do a lot of heavy attacks and I just don't understand why it's like this. But in the end, those are just the two worst aspects for me and I know it's only two points. And I still really enjoyed this game a lot from the music to seeing the different environments and the gameplay and whatever else. Even one of the more negative aspects like Adam blocking you off for some parts just for him to tell you to go there later, I didn't think was a massive issue since it doesn't last for that long and when it's over you do get to explore a decent amount of the area along with you still getting to go back to older areas with your new power ups. And of course the power ups are still fun but you know I feel like that's very true for a lot of the series so that's why I didn't really mention here. And while I haven't finished any of the other 2D entries at this point, I still think this was an amazing title and I would recommend it if you really want to try a 2D Metroid. And of course, I want to know what you guys ended up liking about this entry, let me know in the comments below. And of course, before I finish the video, let me go over my likes and dislikes again. Likes, fun bosses, great sprites, nice atmosphere, spooky and fantastic OST, and solid gameplay. Dislikes, you don't really see the SAX as often, and random aliens do way too much damage. Damage. Thank you all for watching and see you guys later. Also don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow my Twitter which is also in the description below.